we present a minimally invasive reimplantation of a bicuspid aortic valve. The patient was a 50-year-old male with a congenital bicuspid aortic valve with a moderate AR and slightly progredient enlargement of the left ventricle. The 8 cm long skin incision following partial upper J sternotomy in the fourth intercostal space was performed. The ascending aorta was anteriorized using four pericardial traction sutures. After systemic heparinization, a venous cannula was placed through the left femoral vein punction. The ascending aorta was cannulated directly using the stride cannula and extracorporeal circulation was established. For safe decompression of the heart, the left ventricle vent was introduced through right upper pulmonary vein. A traumatic aortic cross clamp was applied and a root cardioplagia followed by selective cardioplagia after transverse aortic incision was performed. The coronary ostia and the aortic root were carefully isolated and prepared for reimplantation. The novel, specially designed aortic prosthesis sizer was used to choose appropriate Valsalva prosthesis.
the subannular 2O polypropylene Teflon buttress sutures were placed. Underneath the commissures, the orientation of pledgets was vertical to avoid interference with the leaflet tissue. The all other pledges were oriented horizontally. The height of the three commissures was measured and the Valsalva prosthesis was trimmed so that the both major commissures approach a near sinotubular junction. Along the underside of the Valsalva prosthesis, 3O per string suture was applied to allow adjustment of the outer ventricular junction post reimplantation using TEE guidance. The subannular stitches were passed through the graft. The commissures were averted into outflow tract. Prosthesis was parachuted down and the sutures were tied. Both major commissures were fixed to the neosinotubular junction using 4O proline sutures and the rudimentary commissure was placed in between LO 180 grade orientation of the valve. Aortic valve was then reimplanted into the prosthesis. After reimplantation, the repair of the valve 
using central placation sutures was performed. The aim was to achieve a symmetrical co-optation of both leaflets above the annulus plane. Electrocautery was used to create the holes for both coronary buttons. The anastomosis was performed using 5O proline sutures. The rest ascending aorta was resected. The prosthesis was trimmed to proper lengths and anastomosed with distal ascending aorta with a 4O proline suture. The heart was de aired and the aortic cross clamp was removed. After reperfusion, the patient was weaned from the cardiopulmonary bypass. Intraoperative TEE revealed no residual MR. Cooptation above the aortic annulus with the length of 1 cm. The patient was extubated three hours postoperatively, required no transfusions, and was discharged at a sixth postoperative day.